In the south, our troops have held out well in and around St. Quentin against the French. The British in that sector have advanced far, but have not achieved a breakthrough. And what are the Chemin des Dames? Despite heavy casualties, the French in that region pushed four miles and captured vast munition stocks and prisoners. No major breakthroughs, though. Good. We'll need to keep our footing if we want to win this war. Have you any idea where Lieutenant Werner is? I have not seen him for days. Him and his two officers have been sent to Italy to aid the Austrians in their defense of the Alps. Damn the Italians! We had an alliance with them and they left us. Once we win this war, we'll show them to think twice before they cross Germany. Is that yours? Logger for your men if you shoot that plane down. Open fire! So, Hellas or Gosa? Hopefully Varner's new men won't be as needy. I'm thankful we're taking this train through the Alps. I'm not traveling in another supply lorry for 10 kilometers. At least we aren't in a Turkish train. Otherwise, we'd be plummeting halfway down this mountain by now. Oh, haven't the Turks been plummeting since Crimea? They haven't won a victory since Gallipoli and their soldiers can be less effective if they were armed with sticks. <clears throat> I don't think the Turkish government appreciates loudmouths, Einhardt. Even if it's true, I hear the Austrian forces are no better. They've required our assistance on every front they fight on, except Italy. And with us, that's about to change. At least in Trieste, it resembled some form of order, even if everyone was starving to death. That's happening everywhere. No wonder the Entente can sustain continuous offensives. They have enough supplies to last ten more years of war. Nivelle or Hague in the West no longer concern us already. We have a certain madman by the name Luigi Cadorna to take care of now. He's a buffoon. He's launched nine battles of the Isonzo, and not one has passed the Austrian lines. But they have worn the Austrians thin, and considering Cadorna only has one front to worry about, I don't like their chances. Someday, they will break, and their empire will collapse like the Turks and the Russians. Not unless we crush them. Victory is far from us, and if we continue to starve, we will fall. What do you know about our new unit, Werner? From my recollection, the report described it as a trained company of corpses and deserters. I surmise the officers are incompetent as well. Let's not be pessimistic, Einhardt. Willkommen. I am Lieutenant Josef. You men must be the officer mission from France. I'll give you gentlemen a tour of our breastworks and introduce you to the men. Excellent! But where is your captain? Captain Aldrich? You shall meet him later, but for the moment, follow me. Here is the southernmost point of the defensive line. We have a single machine gun in this small wooden rock pillbox, which provides an excellent field of fire over the sloping plains. This is the center of the defensive line, comprising of this reinforced stone wall. And this is the northernmost position along the line. The small building houses a single machine gun and, accompanied with the southern machine gun nest, provides a sweeping field of fire over the valley below. 
Behind this blockhouse is a courtyard used to accommodate ammunition and, if need be, wounded men. How far behind Austrian lines are we? Seven kilometers, and Trieste is 25 kilometers southeast of us. Additionally, the small railway town of San Gabriel is half a kilometer southeast of this redoubt. Would you like to meet a sample of the men? They're due for inspection anyway. Friedrich, get some of the men from B Company. What are your thoughts? They look underfed, but such conditions are understandable. What I don't understand is why some men stand apart in a somewhat staggered manner. They group by nationality. Why is that? They don't identify as Austro-Hungarians. They identify as Croats, Serbs, Hungarians, Poles. We find it best not to intervene with said divisions. Why, that's absurd! If they fight without unity, they are bound to fracture and flounder in the fields of battle. In the German army, the men maintain trust and bonds with their comrades through their devotion to the fatherland and the Kaiser. No matter your nationality, no matter your preference on Austrian rule, to leave your fellow men to die is not patriotic. It is heresy! Whether a Croat, a Serb, Italian, or Czech, you all have the same goal as the man next to you, and that is to survive. Survive as a soldier, a company, and as a nation. Einhardt. Take these men and drill them, then come back to me at nine. Albrecht, speak with the junior officers and learn what you can, and return at my quarters at nine. Oberleutnant Werner, is it? I've been expecting you. I'm glad you came at the time you did. A new Italian offensive is expected any day now, and if the Italians take this town, they'll use the rails to supply their push towards Trieste, and we can't let that happen. I do have a question, sir, about the men. In my review, I noticed that men of different ethnicities chose to stand apart, and although your junior officer gave me an explanation, I was appalled by the lack of unity. I have tried to stop such practices, but they insist on staying with their fellow Slavs. But it wasn't just the Slavs, sir. Ah, yes, the turncoat Czechs, too. When I led the Slavs and Czechs in the East, they all deserted one way or another. The ones who didn't, well... A higher level of discipline was necessary for them. They cannot be trusted, which is something you will need to learn. I can assume the loyalties of my men only after I have seen them in review and in the field. They are my men, Lieutenant, and I will lead them with their dispositions in mind. Have my sergeant lead you to your quarters. Werner, come quick. They arrived last night, sir. Where are you stationed? I was stationed at the front, but we were driven back south by the Italians. Their new offensive is barreling through the north, but the force that drove us back has been heading this way since last night. How many are there? At least two battalions. I'm not sure. The assault happened so fast. I'll need to depart as soon as possible. What do you mean? Why won't you stay and fight? My men haven't rested in days. And besides, we'll be needed for the defense of Trieste. The Italians will have passed this position by midday. Get the men ready, and have all positions prepared by noon. We need to be ready to hold this pass at all costs. Sir, enemy force spotted about three miles out. My god, they're already here. Albrecht, have some men get the reserve ammunition into place. We'll need it. How many do you see? Hundreds, maybe even a thousand. They look like they have some field pieces as well. Can you discern a caliber? I'm not sure. It looks like a few... Here they come, sir.
They're retreating, sir. They'll be back. Go check our casualties. Artillery, sir. Mountain guns. 70 millimeter. Get down from there and get your wounds tended to. I'll respectfully refuse that order, sir. Forget him. Tell the men to take cover and stockpile their ammunition. Here they come! Fall back! Get my Madsen! Joseph! Joseph! No, no. We need to evacuate. There, fire. We can't hold out for much longer. The pillbox is destroyed. Where are Yosef and Aldrich? Scheisse! We have to evacuate our entire force, along with the prisoners. We cannot march the Italians. They've been on the move since yesterday. But we'd have to leave the wounded and our prisoners behind. Well, we can't stay here. I received a message that the main Italian army is pushing towards Duino. Tell the men to pack their things and destroy everything of value. We're leaving in ten minutes.
walk the wounded to the train and have the rest go last. That's the last of them. Fall back! It ended as it began, didn't it? On a train car in the Alps. An end. God, I wish there was an end to this madness. All this fighting, we're still no closer to victory. Let's hope that this year brings us closer to an end. But until then, we can do nothing but keep fighting. Now, on to Trieste! If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.